I, I'm curious about this because the Reddit revolution, Wall Street bets, what's happened with GameStop, AMC, Cost, and all these other stocks was billed as a win, a huge one for the retail investor out there. Is it, in fact, a win for those retail investors out there? For having me on. The first thing is the definition of retail is, well, we use the wrong definition. My clients are hedge funds, they're mutual funds, they're some of the largest in the world. And what they do is they represent people who have pensions, for example, uh, policemen, firemen, pipe fitters. And that's retail, right? All it is is it's retail and it's packaged up. Now, what happened here was when all this new flow came into the market, what's really, really interesting when you look at the numbers, I don't think anybody's been talking about this, is the Reddit revolution, the Robin Hood, the Schwab. At this time last year, it was under 20% of market volume. Now, it's over one third of all market volume. And what's, what happens here, there's something called payment for order flow. So when someone executes a trade through a, through a Robin Hood or through a Schwab, it doesn't go to the New York Stock Exchange. It doesn't go to NASDAQ. What it does is it goes to a Citadel, it goes to a Virtu. And what they do, they're known as wholesalers, they execute it. And that never reaches the marketplace. It never hits an exchange. So think about this. One third of all the trading volume never gets to an exchange. And what, what that means is my clients, the hedge funds, the mutual funds that represent the pensions, never have the opportunity to trade with that flow. And what we've seen is an ex uh, increase in costs unlike anything we've ever seen in the 25 years we've been doing transaction cost analysis. Costs in high retail names have tripled. So, 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 so Jeff, 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 sure. so, so, so let's boil this down. You're saying that what's been happening with the surge in retail trading volumes at places like yep. Robinhood, at places like Webull, at places like even Schwab or, or, or E-Trade or anywhere else, have now increased costs for investors who invest in mutual funds and other instruments like that. Absolutely. In high retail names, the costs have increased and the deviation of costs, how, how much those costs vary, by a factor of three. That's a significant cost. And when we say high retail names, people think, oh, okay, well, he means GameStop, he means AMC. No, I mean GameStop, I mean AMC, but I mean Apple, I mean Boeing, I mean American Airlines, Tesla, Royal Caribbean. Overall, it's one third of all volume. And, and why is that a problem? And, and let me tell you why that's a problem. When a mutual fund decides to buy a stock, a lot of times the, the direction will come down and they'll say, be 20% of the volume. So a trader is going to go in, they're going to try to be 20% of the volume. But what if you don't have access to 40% of that volume because it's being executed by Citadel and Virtu? Well, then the trader has to be 33% of the remaining volume. And if you go back and you remember when you were an econ student in college, right? less supply, same demand, higher prices. And that's why we found that the cost increased by a factor of three in those names. So, so Jeff, uh, w with that in mind, if, we, if, if, you're, if your data is coming through the way it is and you're saying that costs for actually transacting things for mutual fund managers who are investing money on behalf of retail individual investors, perhaps hedge funds doing work for pension funds and, and, and that sort of thing, what exactly does, does that mean then for the future of the business? Should we just accept that, that, that trading costs will be higher down the line? Should something happen from the regulatory standpoint to kind of improve that trading execution for those people who are invested, not in day trading, but in things like mutual funds, index funds, and that sort of thing? I'm never a fan of regulatory solutions. Regulatory solutions take a long time to implement, and they usually have horrific side effects. I'm always a fan of, taking an, of doing private solutions. Right now, portfolio managers and traders have to be aware of the situation. They have to track that they have to track high retail names. And what, what the way that market data works, it's really, really hard to calculate this. We've spent over the past year coming up with accurate numbers for retail in each name. So you have to know that these names are high retail names. You have to plan accordingly. You have to assess the risk in your portfolio and say, I cannot have a portfolio that's all high risk names. Longer term, there's gonna to have to be a commercial solution that comes along, perhaps something that sits between the Schwabs and the wholesalers that allows institutions to have fair access.
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.